The topic of my research was the failings of intelligence gathering and analysis in the American Revolution. In the presentation, I contend that the failure to understand the cultural differences that had formed over the century of separation between colonial America and England affected the quality of intelligence gathering and ultimately the errors in the analysis of intelligence. These failings may have been the greatest contributing factor to the negligences in intelligence and the errors in the analysis of what intelligence was gathered, making the misinterpretation of intelligence data a primary factor in precipitating the war and contributing to its length. Obviously, there are significant differences in the intelligence communities of the revolutionary period in comparison with the intelligence communities of today. Fortunately, there's a lot of information, at least on the military intelligence side of the period, uh, particularly George Washington, who was also known as the spy master of the period, building several spy rings. He's also known for being a student of secret communications, both in the use and development of ciphers and for using uh, and reportedly developing covert inks for invisible writing. We also have information, uh, quite a bit of information, on the Culper Ring, which was a ring of spies run by Colonel Benjamin Talmadge, one of Washington's top spies. There's also quite a bit of information about some of the double agents and spies of the period. Uh, Edward Bancroft was a double agent spying for the Americans and the British while serving in a diplomatic post for America in Paris. And of course, we're all familiar with Benedict Arnold, the American general that eventually turned traitor after considerable frustration with Washington and the Continental Congress. Another fascinating source for my research was the book An Empire on the Edge by Nick Bunker. Bunker really brings to light the British perspective of trying to hold together an empire that's been built on commerce and expanded far beyond its ability to control or manage itself. Um, it's a fascinating subject that could only be given a cursory view, and I'm really looking forward to digging into it much deeper as time moves forward. Um, thank you.